Hey guys, how's it going? So a bunch of you guys were tweeting me for some updates on some iPhone 7 news. There really hasn't been that much news, but this schematic was recently released in, I believe it was some sort of a, a, some magazine, and it definitely would confirm there is not going to be a headphone jack in the iPhone 7. So that's kind of the biggest sort of piece of the puzzle that will confirm to us that no, that headphone jack that we also love and adore will no longer be in the iPhone 7. So the problem with this is I think that would lead most people to think that the iPhone 7 will be thinner than the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6, but that's not really the case. Mostly what people are saying is they think it's going to be almost identical to the 6S, but the antenna band lines will be removed. So really it's not gonna be thinner. It's going to be almost, uh, I dare to say identical to the 6, other than a few very small changes where you can see here on the schematic, the bottom part, there is no head headphone jack, which has been removed from, I guess if you're looking at the phone, from the left side. So it does kind of look like it's a lightning port, but it could also be USB-C. And I think at one time it was rumored that there was going to be a dual speakers. So on both sides, which removing the headphone jack would give enough room for that. But here it looks like that's definitely not gonna be the case. It looks like the side buttons will still be the same and the screen and everything looks almost identical to the previous version. So what's great about this article is this guy also shows us some possibilities of what it's like using a dual camera. So I think it's pretty much been confirmed at this point that either the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Pro, if they do happen to release it. Hey! So as you can see, <laughs> so as you can see here, this will be where the dual cameras, this will be where the dual cameras will be on the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Pro because they could potentially go the route I was reading, I think, somewhere else. Apple set to release four new phones in 2016. So what that means is they're gonna be releasing the SE, which was already out, but they could potentially be releasing a smaller version of the iPhone 7, which would be the iPhone 7, and then there'd be the iPhone 7 Plus, and then the iPhone 7 Pro, which would lead us to four phones this year, which is kind of crazy. So with the iPhone 7 Pro, they've been talking about having the dual camera. So this is actually a pretty cool kind of example of what you can do with the dual cameras and I'm hoping that Apple does something you know kind of reinventive like they sort of did with the live photos even though I don't ever use the live photos and they kind of upset me when I accidentally have them on because then I'm taking a photo and then I accidentally send this said photo to my friend and then I'm saying something stupid or then it's like this awful picture and it doesn't even actually work so sometimes I think live photos might not be the coolest thing ever I've been a huge fan of the Intel RealSense cameras which are able to sense depth so this is a great example of how you'll be able to use different adjustments to sort of blur the background or go and fix in post how you want the focus to be, which is gonna be really cool for people who are shooting photos on the go and you're just trying to get a cool shot. So I love this video demo that he has here at the end where it kind of shows you on this phone how that could actually work. Thank you Tech Insider for this fantastic demo. So here's another article from 9to5Mac talking about, again, those seven pro schematics to show up in Japanese magazine with dual camera and smart connector. Oh, that's something that I actually didn't mention, uh, they're potentially going to be having the smart connector on the iPhone 7 Pro, which was first introduced in the iPad Pro. So with the smart connector in the iPad, you're able to add a keyboard and it's a full functioning keyboard that connects using the smart connector. So it'll be interesting to see what Apple decides to do with this. Another thing that's also been sort of interesting that I've been reading is a lot of people saying that probably not for the iPhone 7, but maybe for the iPhone 7S, Apple could do away with the lightning cable and switch to the USB-C port. So as I was editing this, I had this thought, okay, if they are going to remove the headphone jack and then they're gonna remove the lightning cable in the iPhone 7S, it would make sense that in the 7 that they not only remove the headphone jack, but they might as well just remove the lightning cable and replace it with USB-C because you might as well just kill all of the birds with all of the stones in one shot, which is a really a terrible analogy. But I feel like if you're gonna screw people over by removing the headphone jack, you might as well screw them over twice, remove the lightning cable, and start integrating USB-C headphones. USB-C is way more universal than lightning cables. So if they do create USB-C headphones, it would make so much more sense to do it immediately because they'll already be able to get these onto the market. Other phones will then be able to use them. And then more third-party companies will be creating more headphones for more 
devices. I'm not really sure if any of this makes sense, but in my head, it definitely 100% makes sense. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna be super pissed if that is the case. But Apple users are always mad or always excited about something. So either way, I feel like if that's the route that Apple does decide to go, it is the way that they are going to be pushing the industry. I mean, you know, I think about when they removed the floppy drive, I was like, guys, you can't do this. Well, guess what? They did and they were right. Never used a floppy drive ever again. When they removed the CD drives from pretty much every computer, I was very, very upset because I was like, wow, how am I gonna function? I function just fine. So for me, this actually makes the most sense and even going back and looking at the schematic, that could potentially be the USB-C port. I think it looked actually a little, well, eh, it looks about the same. I feel like if they're gonna do it, they're gonna need to do it soon because people are gonna waste time and effort and money on creating lightning cable headphones and that's not gonna be around for a while. So you're basically just gonna be wasting more money. So maybe that's their plan, I don't know. Now I'm getting really stressed out just thinking about it. My weekend is ruined. Back to this video. So here's another article talking about iPhone 7 to release four new phones in 2016. So we've sort of already discussed that, which is kind of crazy that they will be releasing four new phones when people aren't upgrading phones as fast as they used to. I mean, they make it so difficult. I don't know, they, they've been doing these new edge plans, which technically you're still paying for the phone, but you're paying for it monthly. And then at the end you switch in your phone and get another one. They are just ripping us off left and right. Like the phone companies, you guys are beyond absurd. Like I still have unlimited data on AT&T, but then if I hit a certain threshold, they're like, oh, we just wanted to let you know, we realize that you have unlimited data, but we're gonna slow down the service after you hit 30 gigs this month. That is not unlimited. I've been with you guys for so long and it makes me very, very fussy. There's definitely gonna be a change at some point coming very soon for these phone companies because it's, insanity. So yeah, I just wanted to chat a little bit about some things that I saw before we head into the weekend here. A lot of you guys kept tweeting me and wanted to know more about what was happening and really there's not much. I think just with the release of the schematic, it definitely does confirm there will not be a headphone jack in the iPhone 7. There will potentially be two versions, if not three, a smaller iPhone 7, an iPhone 7 Plus, and an iPhone 7 Pro, which will have the dual camera. And it's going to be pretty cool to see the capabilities that we'll be able to do having a dual camera on, I guess, the back. I was gonna say the front, but that's that would be the back of the phone. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know in the comments below any of your thoughts on the iPhone 7 or even the iPhone 7s, which we actually were talking about because in case you missed it, there has been some huge news. The new iPhone 7s, which we haven't even released the 7 yet, so it's kind of crazy that we're already talking about the 7s, which we're probably talking about the 7s because the iPhone 7 is going to almost look identical to the 6s and the 6 plus. So we need something to talk about. But the iPhone 7s has been rumored to be made of all glass, which if you remember the iPhone 4, the 4s, those were all glass phones and those things shattered so easily. So hopefully Apple does have that figured out. I know with the Apple watches, having the sapphire glass has been really awesome. I have not shattered any of my Apple watches. I've dropped them a few times and I don't know if that means anything. Now I may have just jinxed myself and now I'm gonna go outside today and my Apple Watch will be shattered and I'll be very, very sad about it. I've also been thinking about doing a video, top 10 things I don't like about Apple and I've been debating it because everyone keeps calling me an Apple fangirl and I'm the biggest Apple fangirl ever. Yeah, you know what, I am. I love their products, but there's things that upset me. There's things that I love about Microsoft. There's things I don't love about Microsoft. It's sort of a love-hate relationship with I think every sort of pretty much everything in life, really. I typically choose to not really say anything negative, you know? If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. I, there's a few things that have been upsetting me recently about Apple and I was like, should I talk about it? Should I not talk about it? I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think and also feel free to make your top 10 things that you don't like about Apple and also maybe your top 10 things that you do like about Apple because there are so many incredible things and I mean this company, even for me, their products have changed my life and they've changed so many people's lives so I'm by no means hating on them. I think it's just been a sort of a difficult time for Apple now officially not having things that Steve Jobs has worked on. I mean we may never know how many things Steve Jobs has currently touched that are being released. But I think we all know that when we lost Steve Jobs, Apple definitely would never be the same. And I think Tim Cook is doing an incredible job and everyone there is, you know, trying to sort of fill that void that Steve left sort of in our lives and in the company and, and the world really. That's all I've got to say, I think. I hope you guys have a great weekend and happy, uh, happy Friday. See you guys later. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. I've got. Here's our icing. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, wait. I think that you should try it. 
<laughs> that is all good, isn't it? It's in my nose. <laughs> oh, even better. You wanted some more green, right? 